Hello and welcome to We Can Study English Revision Guides for GCSE English and English Language Exam Paper Unit 1 Understanding and Producing Non-Fiction Texts Section A This is the June 2011 paper and we're focusing on Question 4 where we compare language of two extracts. The focus of this task is to understand the purpose of each text and how it affects the writer's choice of language be able to identify how the writers use that language and then explain, explore and evaluate how effective that language is in achieving its purposes. We're going to look at two responses. The first one is a C and the second one is an A grade. When responding to this question, it asks you to compare, so that's the first thing that you have to do. The second thing is to give examples and analyse effects. It's important that you're able to say how and why the language is used and compare how both texts achieve their purposes. The C grade response starts by identifying the two texts. However, the comment that the C grade candidate uses is quite general, descriptive language. There's no specific term used for the language used, such as adjective. Or, for example, a descriptive effect, such as a simile or a metaphor. This candidate needs to be much more clear, because otherwise, the response will be trapped in band two, merely with some attempts, backed up by some examples. There's the beginning of some detailed analysis when we look at a specific word, full, and linking it to the purpose of the writer, trying to show a thought, a thought or a feeling. It's only by this paragraph here that the candidate begins to explain what they meant by descriptive language with the literary term onomatopoeia, which is used and then explained by using good examples and a sort of exploratory point that talks about the effect it has. The problem is, however, the candidate still hasn't really made a contrast with the other passage and is really only looking at passage three at this point. And so again, it hasn't really moved into a good comparison between the two texts. And this is a weakness of this response. Moving on. We can see now that actually there is a comparison beginning. Where we see that the language in source two is also called dramatic. References are made, but not much is talked about in terms of the language features that are used. And again, this is keeping it very much buried in the sum descriptor of band two. The candidate really needs to be comparing relevant quotations and talking about how it's affecting the reader. But what we get are two individuated responses. It's not till right at the end of the response that we begin to get some comparison and some cross-reference. There is also an evaluative judgment where the candidate talks about the effect being gentler in one extract rather than another. By the final paragraph, the candidate is beginning to get in their stride. But however, the time must have run out and it's a shame because if most of the text of the candidate's response had been like this, what we would have had would have been more of a clear and relevant response and it would have pushed the grade up from a low to mid C into the B grade. There is a better exploration here in this final paragraph of each extract, but the contexts aren't developed and there isn't really enough textual detail to help solidify the comparison. Yet again, as in the previous responses from this candidate, but there is a move to what's really effective through. enough. It's merely the relevant quotations that push it maybe just a little bit over the boundary from where some attempts are made 
to a relevant use of quotations. And this really is the only element that might give this candidate nine marks and push them into a stronger C grade. Moving on to the A response, we can see that the text's purposes are both explained in the first paragraph and this immediately identifies it as perceptive and detailed because what's happening is the student is focusing their analysis on both texts together, not merely taking turns to look at one and then the other. This continues into the second paragraph where both texts are considered and the use of dramatic language is basically contrasted and an explanation is made very quickly after the examples are put down. Source two is considered first, talking about the idea of dramatic language. And of course, that term isn't just left hanging. The detail is there with an explanation of the use of adjectives and also the literary term personification. And then the contrast directly to a quote, a detailed quote, from a third source where the adjective ghastly is considered in its impact and effect. Notice the idea of effect upon the reader. This fits very nicely with the descriptors in Mark, in Mark Band 4, perceptive and detailed. And as we can see, it's very clear there is an appropriate quotation and reference in support of perceptive comments. And there is a focus on comparison and cross-referencing between the texts. This attention to detail moves through the rest of the essay where the ideas of evocative language are considered and a comparison is made between both texts and their use of that type of language and the effect that it's meant to have upon the reader. Technical terms are just thrown in, such as pun or adjective or personification willy-nilly, they're not just thrown in to impress the examiner and just left there to hang. They are backed up with very detailed uses of quotations which are detailed but embedded in the response. So again, the whole idea is that the explanation, the exploration and the evaluation of the effects are smoothly explained and not a stop-start affair of looking at one source in one paragraph and then one source in another. There is a shaping and absorption of the question and both sources are considered paragraph by paragraph. This is analysis. How is it done? Why was it done? By the final paragraph, we can see that the writing is exploring the, the similarities and differences between the uses of language in both texts. Using detailed quotations, they're contrasted and there is a very keen awareness by the candidate of how these effects are used by the writers to get a reaction from their readers. The overall impact then is of a band for response. There is a utilization of analysis of the texts showing how the writers have used language and how they've made it effective. The use of technical terms aren't just floating free, but are linked specifically to each text and how they work to influence the reader's views, thoughts and feelings. The response is clear. It explains the ideas that are being considered, uses examples in a sophisticated manner and the overall effect of contrasting each source within each paragraph linked to a specific way the language is used by the writers, creates a well-structured, intelligent analysis that has fluently linked ideas, building to a clear understanding of the texts.